Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. So, so when you got banned, right? Uh, you were talking about the websites and the accessibility and that you didn't need it anymore and all that stuff. When you woke up that morning, was there any fear at all that I, I'm shut down for life, my bank account is shut down for life, I will have no way to provide for my family, or to, in the back of your mind, did yeah, you know that wasn't all just was going on and, and you were like, hey, we have a backup plan for this. You know, Infowars.com can take over all of this stuff that we're we're trying to get out there. It, uh, it and I will be fine social. financially. Like, yeah. Like like you lost five of your six bank accounts with perfect credit yeah. throughout your history. Well, I mean, you guys are asking the best questions ever. You should host the show. Uh, <laughs> well, seriously, you want to come in there when I'm I'll fly in there when I'm take a few days off. Please do the show. Um, you know, it's more of it's the right thing to do. And I knew all this was coming. And I was reading all the white papers and admissions. I mean, I remember 15 years ago, uh, a listener sends in, hey, I own Google stock, and I'm a you know, major holder, so I get you know more of the board member stuff. They're admitting that microphones are all listening to people, and this is going to be ubiquitous in what they call home assistance within 10 years. Uh, and uh, this is really frightening. So, I, 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 you know, Paul, I sent it to him, and Paul writes an article. It's the first article, like six, seven years before any articles about assistance listening to you. And it says that they've got microphones listening to you. Now it turns out the Nest has hidden mics you can't turn off. So we knew all this was coming. We knew they could ban individuals, keywords, you know, whole names. They can have your voice print and then have it where no device allows your voice print to play through it. Right. So this is electronic straight jackets that make 1984 look like a utopia. And they've been planning it, so I knew it was coming. We tried to build some basic infrastructure, tried to promote on AM and FM and some TV stations, which is why we're still able to barely fund ourselves. I mean, I haven't been paid in a year and a half. That's fine, because I've actually taken stuff and expanded in the attempt just to fight them, because it is a war. So I knew this authoritarianism was coming. I knew Google and Apple had already moved to China, given the code keys. I knew that our own elite had sold us out. And so I was so excited to see Trump get in, who was pointing this out, I thought Americans would be bigger supporters more, but uh, a lot of that's fake polls. They really are. You know, CNN just you know traveled up to like you know, places in Minnesota, and everybody's suddenly a, a, a Trump supporter. So, so I mean, the polls are fake. So Trump's been a big success, but I knew that we had to push through, be an example of this, not back down. We got plenty of uh, ex you know chances to back down. I mean, it's gotten so obvious where Hillary funded law firms sue me and come after me and attack us, and they literally then send people here who are my buddies, they're like, well, you know, it's time. Just turn against Trump. Just come out for the red flags, and it's all going to end. And, again, I got offered 18 years ago, 15 years ago, the Glenn Beck job before he even existed, the book deals, the you know, top syndication, all that stuff, the Fox News show. I mean, you know, Roger Ailes was always calling up, trying to get me to do shows with Man Cow. It's all on record. And so, but no, it was all controlled. I'm not saying Man Cow was, but he, the one me coach the show with him. And so I've already been there, but you're a puppet, you're a muppet when you do that. But we knew it was coming. So I was already c scared and concerned for America and the world to know these plans were there. So I was expecting it when it happened to us. And then people are like, how you doing? What's it like? Well, it's scary for our children. Yes. Not for me that I had perfect credit. The banks came to us and they said, listen, we don't want to get in trouble. And this is all digitally marked. So if you ever subpoena it, we'll give it to you. But it's all at Homeland Security, InfraGuard, National Security Deal, which I already knew about. They had a group called G2. It's really the leftist-controlled CIA out of Boston. And it does things like block people's bank accounts that work for the, uh, you know, for Hezbollah and stuff. And so they went in there and said, oh, there's a hate designation or for an organized criminal group. So it shows A plus, A plus, A plus in these reports I've got. Mm -hmm. And then it says... Uh, you know, uh, you know F minus. Yeah. And so it puts me like almost all the way over in the red because the Southern Poverty Law Center said I was hateful. And because they're God, that's a judge, jury, an executioner. And so this is the global social score where they're telling us, you will submit, you'll do what we say, you'll say there aren't two genders, you'll say Jesus isn't good, you'll say America sucks, you'll submit to us or we'll ban you. Well, then you submit to that. It's more and more and more, and then you're a total slave. So this, is, this isn't this is creeping death anymore. This is the end of everything. Digital systems, your phones, all of them watching you 24-7. You know, if this phone worked for the KGB or the FSB, it'd be scary, you'd throw it away. But it's big tech and Zuckerberg who calls you a dumb effer for trusting him. So you just do it because it's ubiquitous. It's how you communicate. They get you addicted uh, you know, like it's just one of your arms or legs, and then they've got you, and they've really got your kids. Your kids are all on Google and all on Apple products. Yeah. It's tracking everything you do.
and it's just here. And again, it's all predatory from the beginning, a post-human civilization is what they say they're building. So you yeah. haven't taken pay in a year and a half uh, since you, you've been banned, right? Yeah, and I've actually expanded my spending here. I mean, I could have got paid, but I expanded. Uh, you built infrastructure. Yeah, your facility is amazing. Well, I mean, you, you have the best equipment. This is one of the nicest studios we've been in, uh, including CNN. I mean, this is, you have your own CNN here. Sure, but the big thing, well, thank you, but the big, but the big thing I was trying to do was, this, I mean, this whole set and all has only cost like $600,000, which sounds like a lot. I mean, all these guys, there are guys that are on 100 radio stations over the years who all have like $10 million, $20 million jets, like 30 bedroom houses so their dogs can crap in each one. Yeah. Their trophy wives leaving them constantly. They're totally unhappy. So all this is, <laughs> all this is, is like I didn't get a, a private jet and I don't need the biggest house on the hill so I can act powerful. I got a, I got a four bedroom house and a nice pool and, you know, a $60,000 car. I don't worship the money.